Om Nam Shivaya students. So today you will learn the next part of Unit 5 Multiples and Factors Part 8 of your Junior Maths Book 5. Find the smallest digit that makes the number divisible by the number in the square. So here you see the number in the square is 5 and the number to be divisible is you are getting here 647 and last digit is not there. So you have to find the last digit. Now to be divisible by 5, what you know? Remember the step that the number should be ended with 0 or 5. Clear? So now you have to see the smallest digit. So 0 is the smallest digit. So simply you will write here 0. Now the number is 6470 which is divisible by 5. Clear? Now see the next example. The digit in square is 3 and the number you are getting here 4 to 5. Last digit is not there. So you have to find the last digit. So to be divisible by 3 what you have learnt the states that the digit should be added and the sum should be divisible by 3. Here you are getting the digits 4 to 5. So first what you need to do? You have to add the digits. So 4 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 11. Now what you need to do? You have to find out the multiple of 3. So after 11 you are getting the number 12 which is a multiple of 3. Clear? 3 fourths are 12. Clear? So, now, you have to do subtractions. The sum of what you have got, that sum will be subtracted from 12. So, if you subtract, you are getting 1. 12 minus 11 is equal to 1. Clear? Now, you can go far to get the multiple. Because after 12, the next multiple is 15. But, you cannot go. Because, you have to see the person that you have to find out the smallest digit. Clear? So after 11, you are getting number 12 which is multiple of 3 as well as the smallest digit that is 1. Clear? If you go for the next multiple, you have to add the, I mean the digit what you will add here that will be greater than this 1. Clear? Did you understand? So now see the Next question that is find the greatest digit that makes the number divisible by the number in the square. So here in the square what number you are getting that is 3. Clear? And the number to be divisible you are getting here 4 to 5. Last digit you have to find out. Clear? Now this is actually the same example I have taken what you have done here to get out the smallest digit, to find out the smallest digit. Here you have to find the greatest digit that should be divisible by 3. So, get the sum first. So the number what you have got that is 4 to 5. So 4 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 11. Now, for Finding out the smallest digit, you have got the multiple 12, where you have added 1. Now the next is 15. The next multiple of 3 is 15. And then after that, you are getting 18. So, if you subtract 11 from this 18, what number you are getting? That is 7. Clear? After that, the next multiple of 3 is 21. So, from the 21, if you subtract 11, you are getting 10. What you cannot write here. Understood? Because double digits cannot be written. Okay? So, the last single digit as the greatest digit, that is 7. That means, this will go up to the multiple 18. Clear? Did you understand? So, now see the next example. You have to find out the greatest digit. The number is 2431. And here the last digit is not there. Clear? 
and in square the number is 4. That means the number should be divisible by 4. Now remember the steps. The number formed by the last two digits should be divisible by 4. Here you see the last two digits you are seeing here 1 and the last one is not there. So you have to find out. Clear? So find out the greatest digit. Clear? So with 1 if I add 2 the number is 12. 4 3 is a 12. You are getting the multiple also. But you have to find out the greatest digit. So after that 4 4 is a 16. Clear? So here you have to write 6. After that 4 5 is a 20 that you cannot write because one digit is already given that is 1. So the number will go up to 6. So the number is now 16. And Read out the number that is 24,316 which is divisible by 4. Understood? Now I am coming to the exercise part. Exercise 5C, question number 8. Fill in the greatest digit to make the number divisible by 3. Clear? Here you see in the question 5332. The middle digit is not there. You have to find out the middle digit. Clear? So, to be divisible by 3, what you have learnt? That you have to get the sum. So, the numbers, what you are getting in the question, that are 5, 3, 3 and 2. If you add this number, you are getting 13. Now, you have to find the greatest digit. So, simply you have to do a rough work. Clear? Here you see the rough I have done for you. After 13, the number which is divisible by 3 is 15. Clear? Now, if you get the, if you want to get the digit for this 15, you have to add 2. Clear? Now, you cannot end here because you have to find the more multiples. The next multiple is 18. So, if you want to put that one, you have to add 5 because 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 18. Clear? Now, you can get, go far because you have to find the greatest digit. So, the next multiple is 21. The next multiple of 3 is 21. 3, 6 is 18. After that, 3, 7 is 21. So, you see here that to get the multiple 21, you have to add with this number 8. Because 21 minus 13, what you have got the sum, if you subtract, you are getting 8. Clear? The next multiple of 3 is 24. For that, you have to go more. You have to write the digit here. Next digit, what you will write, that will be extended. Clear? So, I mean that will be extended from 10. Clear? So this will be the last multiple. Which you have to write. For what? You have to write digit 8. Clear? So here you have to write 8. And the number is 53,832. Clear? Clear everyone? Now see question number 9. Fill in the smallest digit to make the number divisible by 4. So, here you see the question. Again, the number here, you are getting 104 and the next number is not there. Last number is 12. You have to find the smallest digit. So, here, last digit you have got 2. So, here, the smallest digit will be 1 because 12 Understood? So, 4, 3 is a 12. Clear? So, you have got your answer. No need of going far. Understood? So, in this way, you will do your other sums. Now, in your CW copy, what you will do? Exercise 5C, question number 8 and 9. Clear? Do all the sums of these questions. I mean, of these numbers. Okay? So, today I am ending my class here. Have a nice day. Om Namah Shivaya.